Do you remember the time that we all felt sorry for Kevin Costner as he invested millions in his new project, Horizon, and was now under financial risk? Well, at least that was the impression that his statements during the divorce process left on us. It seems like we were misled a bit. In fact, it seems like Costner is thriving. He's thriving to the point of establishing his own movie studio. And I don't know what to think about it. I mean, on the one hand, Costner is the man behind the iconic line, if you build it, he will come. So it's not surprising to see him building stuff to attract not only the audience, but also investors and producers. For that purpose, the actor is establishing a cutting-edge film studio in St. George, Utah. This latest endeavor of Costner, the Territory Film Studios, represents a pivotal milestone in his career, situated on the outskirts of St. George, approximately 30 minutes away from Zion National Park in southern Utah. The studio complex, set against the breathtaking backdrop of the Pine Valley Mountains, is scheduled to commence construction in the upcoming spring or summer months, contingent upon the completion of permitting processes, as confirmed by St. George Mayor Michelle Randall. Once operational, the expansive studios will encompass 70,000 square feet of sound stages, 51,000 square feet of production warehouses, and nearly 32,000 square feet of production offices. Additionally, the facilities will include amenities such as a sit-down restaurant and an on-site catering department. Joyce Kelly, sales and event manager at the Greater Zion Tourism Office, revealed that Costner drew inspiration from his Horizon project, partially filmed in St. George and the Moab area, to pursue his vision of fostering creativity within the local community. Since Costner is planning to expand the Horizon franchise into four movies, it's not surprising to see him investing in a studio in a location where the Horizon movies are set. According to reports, Kelly expressed optimism about the studio's potential, highlighting its strategic location and accessibility to major cities like L.A. and Las Vegas, coupled with the breathtaking scenery that Utah offers for indoor and outdoor filming. Costner's creative vision and commitment to the project were also lauded by Kelly, who envisioned Territory Film Studios as a catalyst for economic growth and employment opportunities in the region. Although specific details about employment figures remains unclear, Kelly emphasized the potential for expanding industry opportunities, citing the substantial number of students enrolled in film-related programs across Utah. Personally, this is the part that I'm most excited about, as I believe it does always matter to give back in the society as an established figure such as Costner. Nevertheless, the thing that baffles me is the fact that recent news suggests that Costner was struggling to find investment to fund the rest of the Horizon franchise. Since he also left Yellowstone and went through a divorce, it was revealed that the actor was potentially facing a financial crisis as he had already invested millions in Horizon from his own pocket. So, as you can expect, I struggle to understand how he managed to establish an entire movie studio while struggling to produce even a single movie. Perhaps I don't understand the rich people finances. Or perhaps Costner truly believes that establishing a studio will attract more investors. Who knows? Similar to Yellowstone prequel 1883, Horizon also explores the American West's expansion before and after the Civil War. Scheduled for release in summer 2024, the epic saga spans four chapters, with Warner Brothers planning sequential releases for Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. As I mentioned, though, this ambitious undertaking comes with considerable financial investment, with Costner personally financing the project. Court documents from his divorce proceedings with ex-wife Christine Baumgartner shed light on the extensive expenses incurred including investments exceeding $20 million. These conflicting reports regarding Costner's finances are too complicated for me to understand how his financial situation is. But knowing his accumulated wealth and decades-old experience, I still trust Costner when it comes to making the right decision when it comes to business. But what do you think? Do you think this movie studio is the right investment for Costner? Or do you think it's a financial nightmare? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.